This is a fantastic dish. It's got a lot of stuff in it, but it's super, super easy to make. It's tasty. It will be four tender beef when we get done cooking this. It's going to take us about two and a half hours to three hours to make this. And the only difference between Irish stew really that really matters, and I mean really, really, because I got a lot of reallys in there, is the Guinness. We're going to essentially uh, cook this, this meat in the Guinness. This is extra stout, and this is actually from Ireland. It's not made here. We actually, this is actually important, so it's going to be really good. Uh, we're going to have, of course, a chuck roast that we're going to cut up into about one and a half inch cubes. We're going to have bacon, and then as far as our vegetables, we've got cabbage, celery. Looks just like celery. This is the this is the orange celery. <laughs> Obviously, this is the carrots, and these are the onions. Obviously, we got garlic. We have parsley, rosemary, and thyme, all fresh. We're gonna put all that in there. This we're gonna actually chop up. These we're gonna leave together. We've got bay leaves. And then to offset the beer, because it's kind of bitter, we're going to put uh, about two tablespoons of brown sugar. And some bay leaves, because if you got beef, you gotta have bay leaves. Two tablespoons of Worcestershire, two cups of beef broth. We're gonna do some butter, tomato paste, about a cup of red wine, do a decent decent red wine. And we're gonna start it all off with some bacon to start the, what well, we're gonna use, the, we're gonna use the bacon at the end and we're gonna use the bacon at the very beginning to cook the beef. The potatoes, we're gonna save this for mashed potatoes. You can put potatoes in this, and a lot of people do. Uh, I'm gonna make mashed potatoes, because this is gonna be really nice because we're going to dump that gravy, that thick, rich gravy, and that tender beef over those potatoes, it's gonna be fantastic. It's talking about potatoes. Uh, what year, Seth, what year did potatoes get introduced to Ireland? Mm, early 13th century. Early 13th century, so around 1200. Felicity? Mm, 1700. That's not too bad, that's not too bad. 1589, who did it? Who, there was a very well-known Sir Francis Drake. Sir Francis Drake. It is a sir, but not Francis Francis Drake. He introduced the uh, potato to England. What oh, you got, Seth? Uh, Spain. Spain. Spain's good because Spain actually had potatoes maybe before Ireland. But in 1589, Sir Walter Raleigh is the person who introduced potatoes to Ireland. And it took about four decades for it to become very popular throughout England. And of course, now we know potatoes are as popular a thing as there is. Anyhow, you're going to enjoy this. Can't wait to cook this for you. If you haven't already subscribed, I would appreciate it if you do, and like it also. This is about a pound and a half of ground chuck. But what's good about this, you look at this, is nice and well marbled, and you do want that because that'll make this meat very tender. There's, this is kind of thick, so I'm just gonna cut it like this right off the bat, which is probably unusual. We're going to use the grease from this to brown the, uh, the beef and then we're going to save this after it's nice and crispy. We're going to save the bacon to put on the stew after it's done. All right, this is nice and crisp. We're going to turn this down and then we're going to start browning our beef. Now we're going to brown our beef. Now it's time to put a little salt.
Alright, now it's time to put the onions in. I switched out pots. And we'll let these cook for about five minutes. Meanwhile, I'll get the garlic ready. We're going to use five or six healthy sized cloves. Okay, it's been about five minutes, so now we're going to put the carrots in. Again, these are just for flavor. And this is going to be about two tablespoons. Chop up our garlic. Mm -hmm. Here's our garlic. Look at that fond on there, that's just going to be enough for flavor. Look at that foam. Isn't that gorgeous? That's beautiful. Now, normally I'd just drop this in and have it all over the kitchen. Look how nice and dark this is already. This is beginning to take shape. Two cups of beef broth, three bay leaves, two tablespoons of brown sugar. Really, we're cooking for two hours, and then we're going to add, in the last hour of the two hours, we're going to add all of the big vegetables, just the, the, the carrots and the onions. Uh, but if we need to thicken this up, which we probably will, then I'll, like, I'll take the lid off. And if that's not reducing enough to make a nice thick gravy, then I will add a little, uh, probably cornstarch slurry to it. Alright, this has been about an hour and ten minutes. Let's look at that. It's time to put our full-size vegetables in here. As you'll remember, we already had some carrots and, and onion in there, but now these are much bigger. These are what's going to be you can eat. And then I've got some cabbage cut up, and we're going to put that in there. Okay, so now you can see how the boiling is. It's got a different sound to it. It's got a thickening to it. So we're beginning to get there. This is going to be fantastic. Everything is finished. We're going to put some potatoes. These are nice and heavy. We'll put some potatoes on the plate. They will withstand any juice. They're good and strong right there. And we're going to ladle some of this on here. This is everything. This is nice thick gravy. Look at that dripping off of there. Don't forget we have the bacon. Just add a little bit of that. That can't hurt anything. Here it is. I'm gonna try this now. This meat looks so tender. Of course it is. Mm. Oh man, that's intense flavor. I gotta tell you, this is one of my favorite dishes. Mmm. Mmm. Isn't that good? That's good. I know that's good. Yeah. I know that's good. That's good. Yeah. Cheers. Okay. Mmm. My mouth is so full. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that. Mmm. It's got a lot of layers of flavor. Nice. That's true. Ah. Nice. Mmm. It's not kind of soft in your mouth. It's like melts in your mouth. Mm. It's like comfort food. Mm. It mm -hmm. is. It's yeah. supposed to be comfort food. If you're ever like having a bad day, or you're sick, or one of your family or friends are sick, then make this for them. And they'll just have joy. Can I adopt you as a grandparent? Sure. Because <laughs> <laughs> you can cook for me all Absolutely. time. Absolutely. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love for you to like it. And I'd love for you to subscribe. I'll see you next time on Lawyer in the Kitchen.